What the flip is poppin' tube nation? Um, I don't even want to do an intro. I just want to get right into it because it's the finale. All I'm gonna say is fasten your seatbelts. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's episode, stop it right now and go watch it because it just makes this episode that much better and emotional and beautiful. Please don't skip to the end and ruin it for yourselves. I don't know why you would want to do that and miss out on the whole journey. Pause this video, go watch part nine if you haven't, and if you have, then also pause this video, go get a snack, go make a sandwich, or get some ice cream because we're crying, bitch. We're crying. Get some comfort food because y'all need to be comforted. I love you guys, and I will check back in at the end. Enjoy. Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? No. <laughs> You're under arrest. No! Oh my god. I knew we should have just walked in. Why did we have to go to the car? Why did we have to go to the car? They thought that we were... Illegal immigrants from Mexico trying to sneak through. Are you kidding me? And even even if that were the case, did you really have to shoot Daniel for that shit? I hate it here. We were just trying to go to Puerto Lobos. And they thought that we were coming into the- Oh my god. They're illegals. Don't look at me. Fuck. Fuck. Yes, that's bien. Si. Yo soy Diego. Mi... Mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es... Um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Uh, si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Oh my god. What? What? Huh? Seriously? Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my 10 year old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Dad? Dad? The fuck? Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. Shut up, you fucking hoes. So tired of all this shit. Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. No somos ilegales. Nacimos aquí. Intentamos llegar a México. Pues ustedes van a ser ilegales en México. Cuestión de perspectiva. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado mm. por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. That's what my father did. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto, pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse como nosotros. 
No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work. Not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. We only oh, want fuck. work and, and, and in peace. Yes. A honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <sighs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. Seriously? We do it for our child. Period! Mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> because what? they're Maddie. not white? What you say? What are you saying? <laughs> See? Take it easy. This is our Siento country. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. I'm just trying to like, razón, you know. No vale uh, whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too. Literally. Loser. Literally. You're literally in jail too. Fuck you. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit. God, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? I want to bash her neck into right. the wall! Diaz, you're up. How's oh, my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Sorry, I'm getting so mad. I'm getting so mad. I'm getting so mad. I'm getting so mad. Okay. Let's move it. I want to bash her head! Sorry. God. I hate that shit. We're all equal. We want the same opportunity. Or they want the same opportunity. All right. <clears throat> Sit down. Where's my brother? Oh He's my doing God. fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. So mad. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? I want okay. my brother. Good. Be right back. Oh, oh my god. What did they do with Tim? Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's alright. Break? Dude. Break them? Oh, shit. Is it morning? I don't want to break them because I don't want to fucking. Oh my god. I haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? I don't want to. I'm on camera. It's recording me. It's fucking recording me. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm so late. What? You don't get to talk. 
talk to you like that, Bombacita. You understand? I hope Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Why am I in here? Oh my god. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? You're going to solitaire. Got it? Solitaire. Solitaire. See, I didn't try to break it. Good. Good boy. Good boy, me. Good boy. Good boy. I'm scared. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. I'll have some coffee. I'll okay. have some coffee. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. I didn't do a gas that. Station clerk. Didn't. Oh my god. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Fuck then you. You join a religious commune in Nevada. I didn't. And its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. I can't explain. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. No, oh, of course she, she is. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. Oh, shit. <sighs> she says a lot. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault! All I did... was try to survive. Yeah. I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. It was, ho. So why didn't you wait for the police? Oh my god. No one would have believed No it. one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Um, it's called superpowers, bro. We're super villains. What do you want me to say? We're super villains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Oh, fuck it up, Daniel. Hold on. Holy you fuck. Okay? Holy fuck. Holy How do you fuck. feel? Holy fuck. I'm okay. Just a little headache. Holy shit. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Took care of them? Yeah. 
Oh, shit. I have to... Come on. We gotta go. Get us out of here. It's good enough. Fuck you guys. These people. Fuck them. Let's go. Let's okay, get them. Up. Shit. <gasps> Shit. Oh, don't shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Wait. Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Um. What do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. Um. The chair. Oh, oh, they're dangerous. What's going on? We will shoot if we need to. Understand? The muck, dude. Do the mug, do what the mug, fuck? Do the mug, 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 do the should have known, babe. Yeah. You saved our asses. Holy shit, let's get out. Oh. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's, let's get out. Them. Come on. Sean, I think our fans are in there. Our, our what? Our fans? Hey, hey. Step what did you do? Back. You fucking Our work. what? Nice. Our things? Don't move. I'll be right back. Wait. Okay, but be quick. Wait, what the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? There's probably more of them coming. Let's go. Black man. A pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Can I not take that? All right, let's get the fuck out. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Oh, shit. Take it out, Daniel. Come on. Wait, what? Time to go. Are we just gonna kill everyone that tries to like punish us? Hurry, Sean! Uh... Drive! What? What? Nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Is this just what? Emergency. This is an all point bulletin for every unit in the area. Two prisoners, both teenagers, have escaped using violent force from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. We're not armed. Okay. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Mm. Okay. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Fuck Our that. First one without dad. Fuck 4th of July. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? Mm hmm He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. is going to explode. Oh my god. How did we just do that? Are we just gonna do that every time someone tries to, like, turn us in or, like, punish us? Are we just gonna fucking use, use Daniel's powers? Oh no. Border control. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? 
what, Sean? We can't let them get us. What did- Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Agent Flores. Fuck. 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 You know that day? In Seattle? The date Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you are the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong, be brave, be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Please, don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I hate promises. Sean, you I'll know try. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Oh my god. 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 You guys. You guys. What the fuck? We're, we're literally surrounded by police. What do you mean cross the border? If I were to push cross the border, that would mean that Daniel would have to kill all of them. I can't. I literally can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. Dude, I can't. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think their story ends right here. Fuck. Wait. No. No. Daniel. Come on. We went all this way, all that shit, for nothing. You told me we were going to Mexico. You said- We're done. The end. It's not who we are. Now it's my turn to take care of us, Sean. Everything will be all right. I promise. What? 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 Daniel! Daniel! No! Stop! 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 Seriously, stop! Stop! I pushed surrender, right? Shoot! Shoot!
Did I just fucking die? Did I just fucking die? Did I just fucking die? Did I just die? Did I just die? Did I just die, guys? What should I have done differently? Can someone let me know? Oh my god. What the fuck? Did I just die? I made, I made Daniel into a monster. <laughs> you guys, I literally...
cried off camera. That was a lot to go through. I'm in the 7% of the last percentages of the entire game. All of my decisions were based on these stats. And I fucked up so badly that I'm in the 7%. Of the final stats, which is you decided to surrender to the police and Daniel refused. Because all my shitty decisions leading up to this moment taught him to go against the rules. If I were to raise him as a good person, we could have surrendered to the police and Daniel would have accepted it. That's fucking wild. Y'all, I didn't even know how badly I did. I knew I sucked at this game, but like, what the fucking hell? I need to go see a therapist. I'm a good person. I swear. I hope y'all don't like think of me differently. Overall, you taught Daniel to put himself in his brother first. I fucked him up. I fucked him up. You guys, I'm so sorry. I literally don't know what else to say. Oh, I'm so angry. 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 If you haven't noticed, I'm angry. Oh! I just looked up the alternate endings on YouTube. I just watched all of the other endings that could have happened. Tell me tell me why every single ending is sad but mine is the worst mine is definitely the worst um i cried so much just now seeing all the other endings and seeing hi benito um oh my cat come here benito just seeing oh, that i could be alive right now and Daniel could be living with my grandparents right now. Benito. Benito, I'm trying to film something. I'm just, Benito, chill. I'm just, Benito, just chill. Let me hold you. I'm just, okay, whatever. I'm just, I can't believe that I fucked my shit up that bad where my ending was literally the worst yes daniel looked like justin bieber with that blonde hair and the tattoo was kind of cool but that is not what i wanted i did not want that and i watched all the oh my god beneath low i'm about to lose my mind it's actually fucking me up so bad because at the end of the game if i would have just like cross the border instead of surrendered then i think that me and daniel could have lived a good life in mexico he would have like killed everyone which is not what i want at all but we would have had an auto body shop in mexico in puerto lobos we would have had like our own car shop and it would just be me and him and i wouldn't have died oh my god i'm in the seven percent that got myself killed I'm in the 7% and it was out one decision. But every single ending was sad. Holy fuck. There was another ending. I don't know how the fuck I could have gotten this one, but it was like, if we both surrendered, then I would have gone to prison for 15 years and then Daniel would live with my grandparents and he was gonna be raised by them and have a regular life and like go to high school and like make high school friends. And there was like pictures of him at the campfire with him and his cool high school friends and like he was living a normal life. Meanwhile, I'm in prison and then I get out of prison and I have a beard. And then Daniel's 25. So I get out of prison, I have a beard and he's like manly and he gives me a hug and shit. And like, it's really emotional. And then we go visit all the places that we went to. I had like a mental breakdown and I was like crying and shit. Oh, 
but at least I was out of prison and I was alive. And then there was another situation where if I crossed the border and I raised Daniel to be a good person and not a shitty person like I did, as we were crossing the border, Daniel would have been like, wait, I can't do this, I need to turn myself in. And then he jumps out of the car and then I just keep driving and I'm like, Daniel, no, but I'm like, fuck. So I just keep driving because I'm selfish. And then Daniel er, turns himself in, they send him into our grandparents' house and then he gets raised as like an only child, I guess, like goes through high school and shit. And then he gets a letter in the mail and it's from me and I'm just in Mexico with Cass. Sending Daniel a picture of me and Cass at the beach with a margarita, like in Puerto Lobos, like it's chill while he's being raised by my grandparents and like having a normal life and shit. And I got the fucking ending where I died. I got shot and fucking Daniel has a teardrop tattoo and of course. You guys, I cannot believe it. I'm so mad. How the fuck did I manage to get the worst one? I let my frustration get to me. Um, I'm just really disappointed, but like, whatever. What can you do? You learn and you grow, right? Uh. It's five in the morning right now and I feel manic. Like I, I can't even go to sleep knowing what I did to Daniel. At least he kind of looks like Justin Bieber. You know what, maybe he can become a pop star or a rapper. He's got some shit to say, you know, if he were to make music. Like he's got some shit to rap about. Fuck, I know that's probably not a good thing to say, but like, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to make this a positive situation. Cause I mean, I like to try to see the good in everything and I am struggling. The only thing I can come up with is if he became a rapper. And the fact that this all happened because the police officer shot my dad. It just all ties back to racism in general. And it's fucking me up. This game is so good, but like, life is sad. Life is strange. Holy damn. That was the worst outcome. That was the worst one. And there was like 10. There was like 10 outcomes. They were all bad. But the one that I got was the worst one. I overthink too much and then I underthink too much. Maybe this is just like teaching me to find <laughs> the balance in making decisions. I don't fucking know. I just, I wanna like bang my head against the wall, but I won't. <laughs> I'm reading comments on like the alternate endings to like make myself feel better. <laughs> Cause I literally feel like shit. And some guy <laughs> commented this. One thing that really bothered me is how they straight up drove to a guarded border crossing rather than the hole they made or making a new hole. Like, do y'all remember when they literally split the metal wall to go through it and they didn't go back to it? They went to an actual like guarded border crossing or they could have made a new hole, you know what I'm saying? And then someone commented on that. That got like 200 likes. And then someone commented was like, or levitate over the border in the first place. <laughs> and that's so true. Daniel could have fucking levitated over that shit so easily. Or like lifted Sean up and like levitated him over and then like levitated himself over. Are you serious? That's so true. This is making me feel better. It's, it's making me laugh a little bit, but I'm still fucked up. And this literally feels like a Reddit thread and I might head over to Reddit soon because a lot of people are talking about how they got the same ending as me and they're all fucked up too and I don't feel so alone, you guys. And then someone else commented, I always thought that Daniel is cute, but as a teenager, damn, he's a snack. And then someone was like, for real though, I was so mad that I didn't see the ending with blonde hair until now. And that was my ending. I saw the Justin Bieber hair. 
And then someone agreed and was like, he looks like Justin Bieber though, not lying. And they were like, literally. And then someone comments and was like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Oh my god. And then someone was like, Daniel is a whole buffet. <laughs> Daniel's a whole buffet. I'm fucking dying. No one gonna talk about the fact that Daniel became a whole e-boy when he went to Mexico alone, which is my ending. He literally does look like an e-boy. And that's what I said. Remember what I said earlier? I was like, Daniel's about to be emo. I can feel it in my bones. Like, he's gonna be an emo kid. And he literally turned out to be an emo kid in my ending. That is so funny. This made me feel like shit. Someone, someone commented and was like, I was about to have the second one when Sean dies, AKA my ending. But come on guys, let's be more logical. Why would Daniel have a power if it not help them run away from the injustice, period? And it's like, I get that. And I feel like shit. Cause if I would have crossed the border, I would have had that last ending too, where they like, got to Puerto Lobos and opened up the auto body shop and oh it's just a game it's just a game it's just a game it's just a game but that bitch oh she's right like why would why would they give him a power if I didn't use it in the end I'm pissed if I were to just push cross the border, I would have had that ending of the both of them in Puerto Lobos, which was the entire goal for the game. That was the entire goal for the game. And I was just one decision away from that. That bitch is right. Someone said, I see the one where the both of them are in Puerto Lobos as the best ending possible. Literally the main objective since episode one was getting there and my grandparents, Finn, Brody, Jacob, my mother, and probably everyone else I'm missing risk sacrificing their freedom and damn near their lives to make that happen for us. Turning back when we were right there just seemed like a disservice to all of them. Not to mention we inevitably built a workshop in our dad's honor. That was the ending that I deserved. It really was. But I surrendered like a pussy. Yes, period. Someone said, my heart hurts. I thought maybe Daniel would get killed if we attempted to cross the border and decided to surrender knowing that he wouldn't go to jail because he's a kid. And then Daniel just decided to go anyway and Sean got killed. Horrible, horrible ending. I wish I had chosen to go so they would have been together in Mexico. That's literally how I feel. That's literally how I feel. And someone was like, OMG, same thing happened here. I was broken. I'm pissed. It's six in the morning and I'm still fucking pissed. I can't sleep. This is all I'm thinking about. I'm just reading comments on YouTube videos. And I'm just pissed. I'm just, I can't go to sleep. I'm pissed at myself. <laughs> I'm so mad. It's seven in the morning. The sun is coming up. And I'm listening to, <laughs> I'm listening to the song at the end. I can't believe I did that to Daniel. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Hey y'all, it's 8 a.m. and I'm reading this comment and I think that this really summed up exactly how I feel. This girl says, this is exactly how I feel, but she's put into words. I got the lone wolf ending. It was definitely the saddest, but in my opinion, also the most beautiful one. I don't really agree, but. The saddest part of getting this outcome was probably that I just wanted to keep Daniel safe. I was so loyal to him that in the end it killed me. I taught him to put himself and his brother first, but why did I choose to surrender in the end? I thought it would be better that way. Daniel wouldn't have to run anymore and I would face justice. I imagined it would be the best choice. 
I could have made for Daniel, but then he had adopted the level of loyalty I showed him, and it cost me my life. That's exactly how I feel, man. I need to be more aware of my decisions and how it affects others. And I feel like I am good at that in my real life. That's what's like really messing with me right now. It's 8 a.m. and I, I, my mind is racing. And I have to be somewhere today at 2 p.m. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do? All I can do is talk about this game. Ryan is picking me up and we're making a video. How the fuck do I just like make a video with him for his YouTube channel and like not talk about this? Like this, this is con consuming my entire brain right now. <laughs> Dude, oh my God, I'm watching someone's video is first of all it's like 8 30 right now i'm watching this one guy's reaction to all the seven endings i fucking scroll down to the comments and the pinned comment is from gonzalo martin the guy who plays sean commented on his fucking video two weeks ago two weeks ago he says, hey man, Gonzalo Martin here. Thanks for putting your heart into playing the game just like we did when making it. Your vulnerability and sincerity, sincerity is why we strive so hard to make the game great. And sometimes that takes longer than anticipated. It's for people like you that we work so hard on making the game as good as possible. I'm glad you enjoyed your journey and ending so much. Thanks for playing, mate! What the fuck? He commented that's fucking wild if gonzalo martin commented on any of my shit i would i would get that framed i would put that on a shirt i would dude that's crazy yep so that was my journey and that was me after i played the game and i ended up going to bed at 10 a.m and i was so tired it's been what four days since i finished the game and i'm still thinking about it every day this game was honestly incredible even if you don't have an ounce of empathy in your body it forces that empathy on you when you play this game as a diaz really really helps people understand what other people go through i think that's the most important part about human nature is just empathy in general. But yeah, I loved the game. Good job, Life is Strange. And please make me a voice actor in the next one. I would love that. Bye, y'all.